Hello, Mark Marks here, and this is money saving tips number four. Okay, now in video number one, I explained when I was talking about the postcard, I explained that I would uh, give you another use for the box of uh, the cereal box, and that would be if uh, it's more directed towards eBay sellers. Um, it's if you if you need a if you need a box to put your your things that you're selling in, you have several options. You can either uh, hunt around a house for a box or go to the co-op, uh, the co-op or your local store. Uh, ask them for boxes, and being that they get large quantities of of uh, food and whatnot, it stands to reason that boxes are going to be very big. So if you get one of those, you're going to have to cut it down. You're going to have to, as if they, as if they have any spare, because normally they'll flatten them down and throw them out the back into a recycling cage. If you do get one, you've got to cut it down. You've got to fit it to size. Um, and the other option is if they actually sell boxes or packaging in some places specifically for eBay sellers. Um, what I say is reuse the boxes that you have. They're free, they're more of a, a usable size, like this one uh, is, uh, as you can see, is a cornflakes box. It's, um, you can put books or uh, if you have clothing that you're selling, uh, fit in there nicely. Okay, uh, you just need to uh, reinforce the sides. Okay, and then you've got, um, a moment ago I, I, had, I did a review on the um, co-op chicken curry. There's another box. You can put uh, a book in there, you can put small items, uh, very good. Like I say, just reinforce the edges, um, make, sure the, make sure the sides are uh, taped down, put a bit of stuffing in there, wrap some newspaper inside, perfect. Free of charge, they actually, they actually will charge you money to buy those things. They, they, they come in all kinds of sizes, there you go, there's the apples I did uh, last week. There you go, you get a couple of DVDs in there probably, if you don't have any padded envelopes. This is perfect for possibly two, maybe three DVDs. Put a bit of stuffing in there. And then of course you've got your, oh, they, they, they come in all kinds of sizes. There's the, um, the Weetabix, co-op Weetabix there, and um, Morrison's Jaffa Cakes, you see. I mean, I don't know what you might put in there. You put some, uh, you know, you can roll up a, if you're selling a t-shirt, for example, on eBay, you probably stuff that in there quite easily. Um, yeah, and and, um, and also, like, um, like with the envelopes, you can just, you don't even have to do anything with it. You know, just put a label, a white label over the front, over the front put the new address on it, put a stamp on it, tape it up nice and secure, Post it away. That's all you got to do. If um, if you're really sort of, you know, I mean, me, it doesn't bother me. I'll just send them out like this, you know, and they, they can receive it, and they can, you know, what do they, what do they care? You know, I'm the one paying the postage. If you're really, if it bothers you that much, find where they've uh, sealed it, glued it together, uh, cut that down with a knife, turn it inside out, and then reseal it again. So then you're left with the the inside, which is now outside, um, if it really bothered you. But for the most part, yeah, just if you're, um, you know, just put the put a white sticker. Uh, I'll hold it up to the camera. White sticker there. Address stamp like this. Seal the edges. The postman will deliver it like that because they don't care um, as long as it's got the postage on it. And then you've saved some money on parcels, you know. Um, but like also, I mean, padded envelopes, um, they're quite, they're, they're, I can't remember, I used to use those a lot, padded envelopes, they're not cheap, but um, if you, like say with the, like, uh, with the apple box here, uh, you get two or three in there, wrap it round in a bit of scrap bubble wrap or a bit of padding, uh, save yourself, save yourself money there, just reuse the stuff, it's going to go in the recycling bin, use it. For, for good, and um, yeah, you can, you can get boxes like this every day, you know, uh, just rather than throw it away, reuse them. Save yourself a, a few, few quid along the way. 
Anyway, that is tip number four, if that's of any use. It may sound a bit crazy, but it actually, I mean, look, you know, I mean, you're the one buying this stuff. You either pay money for a box or you get it for free. Um, if that's any help to you, then please leave a, a thumbs up. And uh, look, look at my other videos. Uh, if, you know, it'd be great. There's plenty more uh, food reviews and money ideas, money off saving ideas. Thanks for watching and... Um, yeah, thanks very much. Bye-bye.